Hi, I'd like to show you a couple of tricks with the uh, support bars. Um, uh, there's been some requests um, to have sprues instead of just support bars, and there's sort of a workaround that you can get that to uh, to work. So, uh, in expert mode, curve tool, and turn off fitting, turn on T junction, and we'll just make a simple support bar setup like this. Okay. Now um, I'm going to go to edit curve. And now, so basically we have, since we used, uh, we double clicked, it's just a two point curve, they're straight lines. Uh, and so now we can add points to these lines. Um, so I'm gonna add a point right there. And the, the first trick is, well that, yeah, the first trick is holding down the shift key. So if you hold down the shift key while you're dragging, it will, um, it will basically drag it on the screen as opposed to fitting it on the model. See, so the point is not fit on the model. And the next uh, trick would be is you, you add a couple of more points to it. Um, let's say here and here. And you, you bring them down a little bit like that. And this sort of gets you the equivalent of a tangent tool. And remember also with that, I was holding down the shift key. <clears throat> you might get a little uh, weird distortion. You can just adjust that easily here and can add a little bit of a curve to that tool as well. So that's the basic technique. Um, you can play around with that a little bit. I, I think, you know, if you do this a few times without too much trouble, you can get very close to the shape you need. Um, okay, very good. Thanks.